So for almost a year, we've shared words from Psalm 46 as a meditation. I can't believe it's a year next week. Did you know there's going to be a National Day of Reflection on the 23rd, which is being supported by the Church of England? So next Tuesday we'll reflect that in our service. Um, but for now, let's stick, let's stick with our meditation. Words from Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still. Be. So welcome to you if you've just joined us. Welcome, welcome. Today the church remembers Joseph of Nazareth, the carpenter, who married Mary and raised Jesus. So you'll see that our readings are quite different this morning. We have a reading from Isaiah and a reading from the Gospel of St Matthew. So I welcome you now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Blessed be God forever. And a song of penitence, words from Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence, and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your gracious Spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And our psalm this morning is Psalm 147, verses 1 to 12. 
and there is a refrain. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. How good it is to make music for our God. How joyful to honour him with praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up all their wounds. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is the Lord and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor, but casts down the wicked to the ground. Great is our Lord, and mighty in power. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre, who covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve our needs. Great is the Lord and mighty in power. He gives the beasts their food and the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse, nor delight in human strength, but the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading this morning is from the prophet Isaiah chapter 11 verses 1 to 10. A shoot shall come out from the stock of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see, or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hall of the ass, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. On that day the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. The nations shall inquire of him, and his dwelling shall be glorious. For the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Our canticle this morning is from Isaiah chapter 9 and it has a refrain 
To us a child is born, to us a son is given. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, upon them the light has dawned. You have increased their joy and given them great gladness. They rejoiced before you as with joy at the harvest. For you have shattered the yoke that burdened them the collar that lay heavy on their shoulders. For to us a child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish and uphold it with justice and righteousness. From this time forth and forevermore the zeal of the Lord of the hosts will do this. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. Time now for our Gospel reading, and it's the Gospel of St Matthew, chapter 13, verses 54 to 58. Jesus came to his hometown and began to teach the people in their synagogue so that they were astounded and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these deeds of power? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all this? And they took offence at him. But Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honour, except in their own country and in their own house. And he did not do many deeds of power there, because of their unbelief. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And we'll just pause for a moment, just to reflect on what we, we've heard this morning.
I don't know if anything has resonated for you. Two of those readings we normally hear in Advent, actually. Carol, where did this man get his wisdom? Where did this man get his wisdom? Perhaps for the people who'd watched Jesus grow up, they no longer recognised the man in front of them. Perhaps he was just really different to the rest of his family. But he spoke with such power, didn't he? And he was healing people. And news must have spread about him. We know as we read through the Gospels, the crowds get bigger. And yet they let what they knew of him, perhaps as a child, get in the way of hearing the message. And Lorraine, those rocks were there again, those stones. They, they made a decision, they hardened their hearts towards him. That's great. I'm just going to read out Judith's comment. So she picked upon, you have shattered the yoke that burdened them. That's from the canticle, from Isaiah 11. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest in him. The spirit, that's in Isaiah chapter 9, in our canticle. Thinking how the spirit can shatter burdens for us. Do you know what struck me this morning? And I've, I've seen it, but it felt different this morning. I've got, I've got four younger sisters. So they said, oh, son of Joseph, Mary, what about his brothers, James and Joseph, Simon and Judas? So when I hear, when I meet people and they've got the same names as my sisters, I always get a little, oh, I won't say their names out on here, they might not want me to do that. But do you know what I mean? So you grow up as siblings. And some names are more familiar than others. And so to grow up with a brother called Judas and then be betrayed by the disciple called Judas, I don't know. That just went, oh, this morning. There was a there was a twinge there when I read that. And betrayed by a kiss in the Garden of Gethsemane as we get to Holy Week. I just think it's wonderful how we return to the texts again and again at different seasons and, you know, it's 
so rich. I could never sit down and just read the Bible. I can only do it. In, these are sort of bite-sized pieces, aren't they? Please feel free to continue to type in your reflections and let us respond now to scripture. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O oh my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. And the words now of the Benedictus, the song of Zechariah. The refrain at the very beginning and the end today is, Behold the faithful and wise servant whom the Master placed over his household. Behold the faithful and wise servant whom the Master placed over his household. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without, worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Behold the faithful and wise servant, whom the Master placed over his household. Time now for our intercessions. Welcome, Eileen. Oh, can I just read this out? So Reverend Eileen's joined us and she said, Thank you, Judith. I constantly need to remind myself it is God who delivers what he desires so long as we make ourselves available when we feel we have no possibility of delivering anything more. And that's that absolute reliance on the Lord. Thank you, Eileen. So at this point in our service, what we have begun to do, take care, Tracy. Take care. What we have begun to do is um, have a, a, a long moment of silence in the middle of our intercession. Because we each gather with things on our hearts and minds, concerns for others and the wider community. And so I'll introduce the prayers, we'll leave some space and then we'll pray for all who are sick. Um, and if you wish to type your prayer in, you are very welcome. If you wish to respond to the prayers of others with emojis, you can do that as well. Or if you, you don't have access to the comments, please use this as a time for you to share what's on your heart with the Lord. So in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. O 
Loving God, we thank you that our hearts are turned to you and that no matter where we are today, how we are feeling, what we long for, the things we are unable to do or to reach or to deliver, we know that in your strength, in your will, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, these things will take place. Remind us not to rely too much on human strength or the strength of others, but to hold on to the thought that you will provide. That you will continue to hold us, to keep us, to bless us. May we in return share those blessings with the people around us, our neighbours, our communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray this morning for all who are leaders, global leaders, leaders of governments, of councils, of governing bodies, leaders of international corporations, of health services, leaders of your church, locally and globally. And give your church the strength and the vision and the capacity to do your will at this time of pandemic and reach out. We pray today for Her Majesty the Queen, for our Archbishops Justin and Stephen, for our bishops where, from wherever we are gathered, our diocesan bishops, praying this morning for Bishop Paul and Bishop Sarah here in Durham. Praying for all of our lay leaders who do so much, who hold so much in prayer. Praying this morning for Tracy as she steps away from the service to verge for a family. We pray for that family attending the funeral this morning. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in a time of silence, we offer the prayers of our hearts to you.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And we pray at this time for anyone who is suffering in mind, body or spirit. We pray for the people caring for them. And we pray that if they seek help, they will find it. They will find care with compassion. And we pray also for the many people caring for a relative every day at home. This morning, Lord, we lift before you John Ellison, Jessica McCaskill, Carrie Waggett, Doreen Moig, Andrew Garvick, Mrs Hewitt, Sid Harrison, Pat Middleton, Dorothy Macbeth, Stella Matthews, Michael Hughes, Chris Haynes, Tom McKenzie, Julie, Josh, Pat Henshaw, John Pike, Anne Taylor, Rod Taylor, Carol Woodfield, Christine, Beatrice Yorston, Wynne Alderslid, Marion, Judith and Jen, Grant and Sheena, Gillian, Joan Young, Mavis, Harriet Fraser, Grant Macbeth, Susan Fisher, Ruth Vance, James Shepherd, Marjorie Carruthers, Brian Henderson, Anne Henderson, Brenda Prophet, Marilyn Merrin, for Peter and his family, Tracy, Dan, Gary, Jim, John Thorburn, and for those people on our hearts this morning, Lord. May they know your healing presence in their lives, your comfort and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And merciful God, we pray this morning for those who are most seriously ill at this time. For the people caring for them. For loved ones who may be separated from them. And we pray for anyone for whom today may be their last day on this side of heaven. And we ask you to welcome them home, Lord, with open arms. And may your Holy Spirit comfort all who are grieving at this time. Comfort all who are brought low as they remember an anniversary. Comfort all who have found the last 12 months so difficult, so much loss, so much death. We also pray today, Lord, for the family and friends of Betty Connor as we pray for the repose of her soul. And we commend Betty and all those who we love but no longer see into your tender care. Let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. And our collect for today, the day we remember Joseph of Nazareth. Let us pray. God, our Father, who from the family of your servant David raised up Joseph the carpenter to be the guardian of your incarnate Son and husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary, give us grace to follow him 
in faithful obedience to your commands through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for joining in with your prayers. 